Hey, what's up guys? So if you wanna know my best blackjack strategy, I'm going to share that with you in this video. It actually ends up leading me to winning about 80% of my games, but that being said, my favorite platform to play on is Stake. One of the reasons is because they have the absolute best welcome offer that exists. You can actually get a 5% lifetime rake back, a $21 reload bonus for one week, and a $1,000 match deposit bonus on your first deposit by using code BIGNAME. I just want to share that with you. Okay, let's dive into the blackjack strategy and let's start with the basics. Only bet what you're willing to lose. Blackjack is a game of chance, so it's important to play responsibly. Also, set a budget before you start and stick to it. This will help you manage your losses and avoid overspending. Another point is to take breaks. Playing for extended periods can lead to poor decisions. Regular breaks will help you stay sharp and focused. Lastly, practice makes perfect. The more you play, the better you'll understand the nuances of the game and how to apply a strategy effectively. All right, now that you've got those basics down, let's get into the actual strategy. Okay, so in blackjack, your main goal is to beat the dealer. You do this by either getting a hand closer to 21 without going over or making the dealer bust. You play with one to eight decks of cards. Aces can be worth one or 11 points. Cards from two to nine are worth their number and 10, jack, queen, and king are worth 10 points. The best hand is a blackjack, which is an ace and a 10 point card. Here's a simple strategy you can use to increase your chances of beating the dealer. First up, if you have a total of four to eight, always hit. You need to get closer to 21, so don't be shy about drawing another card. The more points you have, the better your chances. Now, if you're holding a total of nine, you've got a bit of a choice to make. If the dealer's card is between three and six, it's a great time to double your bet. These are weak cards for the dealer, so you've got a good shot. If the dealer is showing a two, seven, or an ace, just hit instead of doubling up. When you have a total of 10 or 11, things get interesting. If the dealer's card is between two and nine, go ahead and double your bet. You're in a solid position to make a strong hand. However, if the dealer's showing a 10 or an ace, just hit. You need to build up your hand to stay competitive. If your total is between 12 and 16, it's all about reading the dealer's cards. If the dealer is showing a two to six, stand. They're more likely to bust with these cards. On the other hand, if the dealer has a seven or an ace, hit. You need a better hand to keep up with the dealer. When you have 17 or more, it's a straightforward decision. Always stand. You've got a solid hand and it's best not to risk drawing another card. All right, let's talk about splitting pairs and some things you need to keep in mind. Always split pairs of eights and aces. This strategy gives you a better chance of forming two strong hands. If you have pairs of two to seven, split them if the dealer shows a two to seven. This gives you a good advantage. But if you have pairs of tens, don't split them. Your hand is already strong. Finally, consider surrendering if you have a total of 15 against a dealer's 10 or 16 against a nine through ace. It's a smart move to cut your losses now and focus on winning the next game instead. And that's a wrap on the strategy. Just a heads up, while this strategy can boost your chances of winning at blackjack, you might still lose a few games here and there. Also, don't forget to use the code BIGNAME to get those awesome bonuses. Have fun and good luck.